Alrighty, so welcome to the Saturday afternoon stream. I'm your host, Apostle 39 a bit later than usual, or rather a bit later than I anticipated. Uh, but still, I am here, and we are going to be continuing my playthrough of uh, Forged in Torch Shadow. Alright, yeah, it really does not roll off the tongue easy, does it? Alright, but yeah, so, uh, this stream might be a bit short, all things considered. Yeah, it might be a bit short end. Alright, but yeah, no, we'll be doing this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a second stream today, but, you know, I'll try, but it will be... Actually, no, it's going to be at midnight, so eh, probably not. Give me a sec, something is up right now. On my end, that is. Alright, let me try this again. I'm playing with a controller as per the game recommends because, you know, why not? There we go. Alright, now it's registering. I continue to play through of where I last left off. I made it to Joffrey Street after I had saved Osu or Ursa, whatever the fuck his name is. And, uh, yeah. Uh, oh boy, I'm trying to think right now because I'm, my head is buzzed right now. Pink area. <gasps> Alright, we gotta go talk to the rat duke for something, and yeah. Boss! Today's fourth patrol's finished. Everything's on Joffrey Street as normal. Oh, not the Duke. Strange, the boss hasn't stopped by for several days now. Do checks on your work personally. Now, of course! We're responsible to save you at Joffrey Street. The boss wants to know everything of what happens here right away. <coughs> Hold it. Why do you refer boss directly by name? All first sins whole hiding on Joffrey Street refer to him as Duke. I'm a big fan of the boss. Not only controls the city information network, but also made Joffrey Street the only safe area. I wonder when I can become the boss's right hand man. Just like Buzz. Ho ho! Your life must really suck if you're spending it lazing around. Happiness is being busy. When I was a kid, the whole street shared one pot each meal. My mates and I had an eating contest, and I ate the most, even when I started to last. When I grew up, I scrubbed the factory floor. Bet who could scrub six floors and dry them all fast. Now, give me a sec. Uh, I was a champion at Torch City for eight years running. When I joined the Rat Gang, the boss trusted me with the whole whole gang's meal and letter deliveries and one po one Rat Postal Service, and I was never late. I don't I don't want money. That's crass. I want praise, good feedback. To live is to be busy. Give me a 
a sec. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, this is pertaining towards my personal life. It, when I say personal life, I'm not talking like personal, personal, but you know, what I do in my off time. I mentioned yesterday I had a DD and d game yesterday, and uh, I had a DD and d game today yesterday, and uh, for the most part... Okay. Give me a sec, I'm just filling out, I'm just sorting through details right now. Where is... There it is, okay. 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 Right. All right. So. Apologies about that. Apologies. 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 I am just. This was impromptu and I wasn't expecting it. So. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. We're here. This is something new. Called coffee. Want to try some? How much do you know about Cicero? What I told you before was free. Oh, this is different. I have 500 shekels in my back pocket, okay? So I can do it. What do you want? I want to make a deal with you. Don't you always? Cicero is planning something that will completely change Tort City. If he succeeds, Ferdizens will be no more. What? The deal is that you and I work together to find out the details of his plan. Then, we put a stop to the Legion's conspiracy. You've been in bed with each other for all these years. Why the sudden split? Gray, remember? The Red Gang might not be much to a big hero like you. The Legion has gone too far this time. The game will become unplayable. What do you think I should do? I'll trust you, for now. I am a businessman. You don't have to believe me, but you must believe the scales of self-interest. The arsenal and the sewers each contain a copy of the information. These two places are incredibly dangerous. I will send my brothers from the Rat Gang to scout ahead for you. I can do something this simple by myself. Do. You better not be playing tricks with me. Do, you ne better not be being doo-doo with me. Go to the arsenal and the sewers first to figure out what Cicero is really up to. That sounds fairly simple, I'd say. Fairly being the key word here. Who knows, it might be the most complex shit I've ever done. You don't hang around here. A pet is a closely guarded area to Torch City. Don't get through unless the Duke says so. Just look like an ordinary mine tunnel to me. You think you know everything? The more ordinary place it looks, the bigger the secret it hides. Get away from here. No one's allowed to come closer without the permission of the Duke. Boss or Rat Gang. Stand back if you don't have permission from the Duke. Ha! I've guarded this secret passage for many years without fail. Forged in Torch Shadow, though. What a fucking name. Did 
This is how you get around in any Metroidvania. You just start air dashing everywhere. Alright, so, I think I already figured out where the sewers is, so we'll just go there. Uh... I've been playing Fortnite lately, I guess. Yeah, you know, why not? This is this may be a full playthrough. I'm trying I'm still trying to get used to streaming on YouTube because uh, as I mentioned prior, I've streamed on Twitch before, but YouTube has a bunch of different rules of engagement. Like for example, uh, how much swears I could get away with. Not that it stopped me. Yeah, not that it's really stopped me. Alright, All right, but yeah, no, for the most part, I've been uh, playing Fortnite lately. The new season is, what, Greek gods and the like? It's interesting, I'd say. For the most part, I said it on Twitch, but I have been picking up an interest in Greek mythology lately. I've been getting into rereading, or rather re-listening to the Percy Jackson books, so there's that. Give me a sec. Yeah, you know, let's... But yeah, I've been trying to get back into... Percy Jackson series of books, and it's been... It's been interesting, I'll say. Yeah, it's been genuinely interesting. And among many things on Twitch I talked about was like... <laughs> uh... The role of Hades, right? For the most part, I pointed out to some extent that... In, you know, more mainstream media, he's portrayed as, like, this big bad guy, right? And, oh, give me a sec. Rapid hero! Boss says you could use our subway whenever you like. Ocean Cur Culvert Station is now open. Feel free to take a ride. Which way to Arsenal? You can reach Arsenal by walking straight to the right. And the sewers? Go to the sewers. Take the subway. I'll take the subway, then. But yeah, I, I was talking about the role of Hades in the new Fortnite season. Because in every media Hades is in, he's pretty much equivalent, unequivocally Satan in every iteration he's in. And you got uh, Zeus being the, uh, just being the good We're guy. We're doomed. The water is up to here already. Ooh, that's bad. Hey, Rabbit. This run is a no-go, I'm afraid. I need to get to the sewers. Is there no other way? Uh, you'll need to go down on the left and check why the flood release valve is jammed. Okay, but yeah, I'm... So I'm talking about the role of Hades, and for the most part, yet yeah, Satan adjacent and all that jazz. And so, I'm curious, is Fortnite gonna say, like, oh, Hades is looking for something to, uh... ...to overthrow Mount Olympus for, like, the upteenth time? Or is it gonna be, like, all the Olympian gods got dragged onto the island because something forced them to? And now they're all stuck here fighting each other. I was also- I was also complaining about, uh, well, kinda complaining about the fact that Hades wasn't using his Bident. 
Because in the promotional trailer used for it, they showed him using a whip. And I... Logic... Nope. And I pretty much, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, I guess logic guessed the, uh... Yeah, boy, this is... Yeah, I pretty much logic guessed the uh, reason why Hades was using a whip for the most part. And it's due to the fact that he's using it as a reference to like the Furies, I imagine. But yeah, it's pretty much the whip is a reference to the Furies and just how they serve him. Or rather, they answer to him to pretty much maintain order and all that and then you and then when the season came out i actually did take a look at the battle pass and well funnily enough hades is the top funnily enough hades is the top uh unlock given the fact that he's like what like level 80 around the 80th level or something like that or 90th level and pretty much his pick the pick associated with him is the Biden. And so... You know, I, I find that kind of... Uh, interesting that I was kind of right on the money on that, at least. The Battle Pass also has, like, Medusa as well as friggin' Aphrodite, too. And you also have Poseidon, but Poseidon is a slurp abomination. It's kind of... It's kind of borked a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, no. Sign is like pretty much has the slurp model. And then you have Medusa and Aphrodite respectively being You know, I don't know if they're based off a preset face model that Epic Game uses and rotates through. You know how there's like Characters called like Jonesy, Ramirez, and all that. So, yeah. I just go the wrong way. So far, I actually did play the new season more extensively as well, yesterday. Or rather, after the stream ended, and uh... It is... It is an absolute chaotic fuckfest, currently, for Fortnite. I wish I was kidding when I say that, but because the implementation of, like, powers with the river sticks, as well as, uh fact that wings are a thing it's kind of sort of become a bit of a chaotic fest you want to know how chaotic it's become quite literally after uh quite literally after landing one guy was zoning me to try and track me down for the entire duration of for the entire duration upwards to like the high 20s and it was just obscenely hilarious to me just like how this guy would not leave me alone. 
He's like, really? You're chasing after me? Well, I guess, I guess because I was carrying a medallion, which is like one of the pickup power-ups that you get in the game. Maybe that, uh, that's probably why he was chasing me, but still, it's like, really? Can't you chase someone else for crying out loud? I think he died, though, before he was able to get me. A shame for him, but good for me. I have a giant carrot on my back, alright? So, let's do this. Hmm. If we can't open the floodgates soon, the subway will become the sewers and the trains will become submarines. How can I help you fix it? Oh, Graham sent you. The valve is missing, but all the spares are with my little brother Luke. Go down the pipe on the left and you'll find him. I must keep watch here. I'll go take a look. Be careful when you go down there. Go to the left and close the floodgate. The currents are so strong, you'll end up in the sea in no time. Feel the wrath of my drill. The wrath of a big father. Mm, I got a few hundred schmeckles. Oh no, water can't swim. One of the huge flaws of being a machine man. <coughs> Alright, any new skills I could get?
<sighs> yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. How much air do I take just trying to use this thing? Isn't this whole process just an automated thing? Why is this why is this using so much oxygen while survival to stand standby? Maybe it's because may, right, this is me trying to like bullshit logic it right now, but maybe it's because of the fact that I'm yeah, Maybe it's because of the fact that technically I'm uh, having to deal with atmospheric pressure. Maybe that's why. There's a good reason why the fucking uh anytime go someone goes sea diving, they go they go slow. Yeah, there's a good reason why uh, divers, whenever they're ascending back to the surface, they go slowly. So the body can get you reacclimated to the pressure. Fuck's sakes, come on, game! Just literally had them gangbang me, spit roast me, and the like. Come on. What's down here? <clears throat> Go deeper and deeper into the mines.
there's a door here too. Need to put four shards together to get this door open. Should find four shards to see what's behind this door. Alrighty, so we have ourselves as a grand mystery. special key to open it. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ascend! Ascend! Guiding my way up here. Wow, that was an awesome punch! You smacked those iron dogs around like nobody's business. Mark sent me to get the reserve valve. I wonder why my big brother didn't come here himself instead of sending you. He had to keep watch up there because it's flooded. Ha! He fooled you. My brother's just scared of falling into the water. He can't swim. Let's see where the valve is. Hmm. How come my digging tools are all missing? This crate is full of my brother's plumbing tools. He must have accidentally taken the wrong crate. Found it. Here's the reserve valve. Please, take it to my brother. Wait, now where does this lead to, I wonder? Casually kick that open and then just make my way over here. Excellent. Give me a sec, I should probably uh, get myself repaired. So I got the drill bit and I got the literal fist of justice. And now I got a valve. Maybe we should play this in Chinese just to see what the dialogue difference is. Thanks for making the run. Wait here. I'll have the outlet open soon. Use that upper body strength, man. Oh, look at that. He really did use his upper body strength. I come from a family of plumbers. My brother Luke inherited the business, but he was obsessed with digging. Wow, looks like you, sounds like you got stuck with a short end of the stick. Fixed! Thanks, Rabbit! Sorry for all the troubles these rascals taught caused you. I'll teach him a lesson. If you want to go to the sewers, talk to the train conductor on the right. Godspeed, Rabbit. Tell me where you want to go, and I'll get you there in the blink of an eye. Wow. 
west side. Oh my god, I got a plant seed. I don't know what it is that these plant seeds do other than give me money. The Pink Doom! Sorry, I'm just thinking myself back to hell. So I'm just thinking myself right now, just back, uh... Just thinking back to a funny time in my personal life. My old man and I won... I was, uh... My old man made a passing joke of just, like, getting, like, a pink shirt while we were shopping for, like, clothes somewhere. And for the most part... We pretty much just like made a joke, just like, hey, how about you wear a pink shirt and, you know, sky blue, or a pink shirt with a sky blue shorts. And just like, hey, why not? <laughs> He's like, no. He's like, come on, just pay me to do it. I'll I'll take on the dare. He's like, no, we're not doing it. Uh, eh, it wouldn't have fit in my, with my wardrobe anyway, but still. Would have been funny to pull off still. And it was in a cold time of the year as well, if I'm not mistaken, so... <laughs> yeah... Am I going the right way, or am I going the wrong way? Because if I'm going the wrong way, well, it's not that much of a loss to me, but still. I want to know if I'm going to get something for going the wrong way. Anything good to get right now? I mean, I got like a bunch of these other skills I got in my back pocket, although I don't know if they're any good. Come on! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I just love the fact that every time I ragdoll, it's just the same freaking animation. You just see freaking uh, Raiden here just freaking flop over, face down, the opposite of where he was.
we go. Got myself a parryable. I got another plant seed guy. Ninja guiding my way over still. Yo, I think I'm starting to see a weird trend when it comes to Chinese games and how they visually look to some extent. Mostly due to the fact that this game looks remarkably close to the Black Myth Wukong game, I feel. At the very least, in terms of like style to some extent. I feel like it's kind of close to it in terms of style. It's interesting. I feel like it's kind of, kind of similar at the very least. Mostly down, it's mostly down to the, like the fur material and the textures and the like. <coughs> Fuck's sakes! Come on. God, you're chopping the floor, and yet somehow you're not hitting the floor. What is this crap? Fuck off with that. Game, come on! Come on, game, throw me a bone here! You got like three of these frog pricks just coming at me! And they all take varying levels of damage, too! Oh, it's bullshit. Seriously. Oh, you gotta bring along your little fucking boy band here? Alright, fine. I'll bring along my little boy band here. Fucking dodging doesn't even have invincibility frames. Alright, what do we have here? <coughs> what do I get? I got a new power. It's called I Breathe Underwater. Okay. I mean... Is it really a skill I need to... Well, I guess so. I don't know, it seems like I was able to get by relatively easy enough before. But I guess, hey. What can you do? I mean, shouldn't that be something that's already built into the dash as is, the fact you're able to omni-dash already? Why the hell does that need to be a skill? I guess if you want to have more elaborate platforming, sure, but still, what, like, what the hell's the point of it? Even more so, it seems like the skill is, like, very finicky as well.
back off. Ah, fuck's sakes. Game, come on! You already have like two of these pricks on me! Fuck sakes. Got like one fucking tanky goddamn ninja. ninja frogman. I gotta deal with him taking on fucking more damage than he should. It's to this samurai prick. Six. Come on, game! God, I swear, this is just me just yelling, Come on, game! Half the fucking time! It's like the game is fighting me, than actually fucking guiding me. It doesn't answer where I am, if I'm being honest, but hey, fucking I'm somewhere. Take that. Damn. 
obtain data from the sewers, but first, let me beat up this literal fucking tank that I just walked into. Fucker just killed himself. Real classy. Oh, hey, it's Dark Souls. Sweet. Sweat. You have furry Dark Souls in a game. I mean, it was an unexpected detour, but still, what can you do? That was pretty nice, I guess. Circles back over there. All right. I got the shortcut back to, uh, Jofer Street. Is there, like, any, like, major secret in this game? Like any like major secrets or unlockables in this game, like say for example like an alternate outfit or something. Ray, there you are. You got a good eye. This is Urso's favorite girl band. 
I know all their songs. Da da da, da 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 da. Pink area. He gets knocked down, but he gets back up again. All to carry on the spark and fight his cruel destiny. That's how I felt after watching Dark Wolf. Dark Wolf. In the movie, the hero wears pink armor and absolutely crushes the demons. It's terrifying and exciting. Great way to decompress. Why are you looking at me like that? Haven't you heard that every muscle man's a softy at heart? Pink Doom. How do you like my paint job? <laughs> Dark Wolf, though. Damn. It's pretty baller. So I imagine this so this is stock. Join Join the mech army so that you may be able to use armaments such as these. That's Akira. That's I don't know what that is to be honest. That's Dark Souls. That's Doom. And that is... You know, I don't know what that is. Damn, that's an actually pretty baller paint job, though. There we go. All right, continue the descent into my own hubris and sanity. He just starts diddling around with the joystick before the actual OS just loads up. Just like, hmm. It's like every kid in the arcade cabins. <coughs> Shit. Oh, is this gonna be a twofer? The way that guy is punching. Ow. The way that guy's punching, he's pulling off some illegal moves right there. Round two! Great. This is the Ornstein and Smo mode. Ugh, alrighty. Time to bust out the pink drill bit! There's certainly something that's gonna be drilled in. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be one hell of a gaping prostate.
What was the saying of the pink doom again? What was it? Pet and... Pet and feed until it is done? Seriously though, how is that move illegal? Is that move legal to pull off? In the sense that uh, Capcom isn't gonna start knocking on these guys' doors. The fact there's a literal Shoryuken here. Look, not every uppercut is a Shoryuken, but when you have it, the guy twirling around and doing so, you know you can't help but think a little bit. All I need to do is that fucking uh, spinning dragon kick. What was it? The uh, Hatsudududukin or whatever the fuck. I won't have a problem finding these bosses if I could just skip the cinematic that comes attached with them. That's really the major problem I have right now. Ah, for fuck's sakes, come on, can I get like a trajectory as to where the fuck he's going game? Bullshit. Already? How much of the moves are blockable? Well, not blockable, but parryable by technicality. Oh, well, the very least, I got to damaging both of them respectively, so that's, uh, progress, I guess. Do I have enough to get an actual power-up, or what? <coughs> oh, God damn it! I think this might be the one instance I might need to switch to easy mode.
Again, I don't mind fighting this guy. I just would rather skip the cinematics having to watch him for the upteenth time. I have a better question. Why wasn't my fucking old uh, my super meter or my friggin' uh, move meter not filling up? God damn it, game. The game is just trying to fucking sabotage me, I'm telling you guys! Seriously, why is my meter filling up? Seriously, I'm looking at it. It's just like it should be filling up. What the fuck? The meter underneath my health bar should be filling up for every hit I land, and yet for some ungodly reason, it's not doing that. It's like, oh yeah, it's willing to do that beforehand, but now it's like, oh no, you're facing two boss. It's like, really, game? Come on! I'm looking at the bottom of my meter and it's not fucking filling up. It's bullshit. Okay. One more time before I switch gears to easy mode, because this is just bullshit. Now the game is just intentionally insulting me. I don't- again, I don't mind doing two fucking bosses back to back, right? Christ sakes, I somehow pulled up fighting Ornstein and Smo. But when the mechanics of the game just outright refuse to work, that's when it's just become insulting. Again, I'm looking at the bottom of the fucking meter and it's not filling up.
Uh, all right. Uh oh, man of my word. Time to engage easy mode. Fucking bullshit, my goddamn ultra meter doesn't fill up. Bullshit. At this point, I may as well just be using the gun. Because parrying doesn't mean squat. Wow, easy is just pissant easy. Like, literally. What the fuck? Whatever, we're here. Ah, uh, cassette tape. The agent has been looking for the spark. The spark is located in the Western Range. Urso, do you read? The Urso Logistics Hotline is always here for Ray. Why are you in such an outlying location? Stay out of areas like that unless you have to. I found a set of Legion plans. I still need to make a trip to the arsenal, too. Sheesh. Do sure knows how to work you. All right, the new location's marked. But yeah, wow, fucking easy. Just literally piss ain't easy. Loud. Fuck's sakes, come on! Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, the game's insulting me at this point. He's like, ha ha, you had to switch to easy mode. He's like, yeah, well, fuck you, game. Alright, let's continue this back on normal. All right, well, he just self-terminated, all right? It, ain't, it didn't have anything to do with me, officer. It was his fault he walked in the water.
All right, just go straight over here, eh? What the fuck? You really like being thrown to the wall! This is what happens when you wear red. This is what happens when you wear red in this game. You just get yourself more pain. It's like, ha ha! I got you, Ray! He's just like, oh god! Oh god, please! Stop! Please! Oh god! Just continue to, like, throw him against the fucking wall. Oh god, please! Stop throwing me! Stop throwing me! This is what happens when you have high durability. Ugh, jeez. Sometimes I wish these cinematic cameras would just like quickly pan over just to show where it is instead of just this. Come on, up and at him. <laughs> All right, finally, we got both batteries up here. Woo. Thank <laughs> you. 
electricity. Is my fucking uh, power meter just busted or something? Like, what the fuck? Why the fuck is my power meter just like completely borked? Yeah, even when I'm trying to use the fucking... Oh my god. I think my game is glitched a little. And that's not me having excuses either. That's... Like, genuinely. The power meter is just not filling up even though I'm beating the crap out of everyone. God, please, stop throwing me against the wall! Ah! Okay. Stop throwing me against my colleague! This is how you play. This is how you play the game, guys. You don't punch things, you throw things. Seriously, why the fuck isn't my meter filling? What the? Oh god! Oh god, we have an intruder! Oh god, he threw me against the wall! I'm just imagining just constant state of shock and bewilderment and awe. As to like, how much they're all just suffering horribly from concussions. Like, genuinely, at this point, they probably wish they were fucking dead with the amount of literal force they're being subjected to just being thrown against the wall. This is what high durability leads to. It doesn't make you any less harder to kill, it just makes your suffering all the more horrible. Right, got a bathosphere. This is what happens when you just... When you try and make yourself tougher. You make yourself all the more worth... Worth suffering for. Apologies, there was something at my door. Pizza delivery. Anyway. Oh, 
seriously, no, it's complete bullshit. Right, that one was me. But seriously though, I don't know why the game is just not refueling my fucking meter. Please! Stop! Stop throwing me! Oh god! This is what happens when you have high durability. It doesn't make you harder to kill. It just makes the suffering all the more long... long-lasting. Just... this is me being a bully at this point. Oh god! I feel my rib cages just breaking! After crying out loud! You caused me trouble, you hear me? You caused me trouble, oh god, please, sir, forgive- Alrighty. I think my game is genuinely broken now. But yeah, my game, I think, is, like, genuinely broken. I mean, I'm, the fucking meter just won't fill up, man. I mean, how else can you describe it other than just... It's broken. Crying out loud, come on! Game, come on! Come on, game! Quit fucking dicking me by the goddamn balls! Oh, for fuck's sakes. There we go. Fuck sakes. It's all like 20 years just to fucking do. For some reason, I'm just thinking right now about like that one... That one video of like a frozen sing-along. Where they're just like singing Olaf's uh, song. But yeah, they're like singing Olaf's song and just like one dude in the middle of it, just like the moment when Olaf is just like confronting his own mortality, he just like fucking just drifts off. Some dude just fills in the gaps to see, shouting out, PADDLE! There's like 
two reactions that I saw to that instance. One being just like, ah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You know, something like along those lines. It's kind of fucking hilarious. But then there's like another one that was just like, just like, dead death stare, quiet, quiet look. It's like, you motherfucker. I'll kill you, you know, like, type of fucking look. I don't know why I'm thinking about that now. Actually, I could probably... I think I know a reason why. Because I'm... Because I've got nothing going on right now. In front of me. There we go. Double slice. What do I want? Which is the most expensive skill for me to get right now? Just so that way I can knock off the, uh... The amount of money I need to use. Yeah, go with this. Why not? I've got like a good chunk of cash right now in my back pocket in game, so to say the least. Yeah, I gotta keep track of time right now. Higher health bars don't mean you you survive and don't feel pain. It just means your pain is liver lasting. Allow me to demonstrate. Take this fine fellow here. He has a fairly high health bar, right? is a fairly high health bar, and look at that, he's already in verge of wanting to die, so I give him his request.
seriously, that the fucking second bar is just not. Yeah, but it's just not filling up. My efficiency in this game has gone down for whatever it's worth by half. There we go. That was my last drill charge. This thing again. Again, I don't mind fighting game, but you're clearly fucking neutering me without having the bar fill up. Loud. Come on, game! Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. I was so close, too. Oh, jeez, this game is just fucking me in the ass. Both literally because I my fucking meter just won't refill. God 
damn piece of shit. God damn it. God damn sluggish piece of crap. Damn it. I'm trying to close the distance and this fucking thing is just keep on going. Again, this thing would be a lot more shorter if I had my super meter! The Iron Wall, you will talk. God, I really wish I could skip these cinematics. They're nice for like the few first few moments, but after a while, it just starts wearing on you, you know? Ah, oh, fuck's sakes, come on! Come on, man! The iron wall will... Oh! I don't have any more fucking super, man. I can't fucking use this shit willy-nilly, because I can't regenerate it! The Iron Wall, you will talk. Fucking finally! Jesus Christ! It took way longer than it should have. On the upside, though, that was not as bad as the fucking twin fucking bosses. Again, my meter can't regenerate. I fucking ham, I'm fucking hamstrung and handicapped already.
Who is being so rough you should knock before you enter? No need for manners with iron dogs. It's you! The rabbit that's been causing trouble around Torch City! You've got three seconds to disappear before I call the guards. Guards? You mean that lump of scrap metal I flattened? As Deputy Chief of Staff of the Legion, I order you to leave my office! The Legion does not issue weapons to administrative personnel. Look, I am unarmed. Civilized citizen, please allow me to leave in a fitting manner. Change Ferdisons. What are you really up to, Cicero? Ray, come in. Did you find something? Something big is happening in Tor City. I'm here to help. I need to stop by the Rat Gang first. Speaking of the Rat Gang, I think. I know what I'm doing. Over and out. I think they're eyeing to betray you. Punch. No, Ray drowned. He drowned. What a way to go. Where's the nearest? There it is. There we go. Gotta make my way up to the bathosphere and pull out from there. Alrighty, off to Jofer Street. Uh, it's getting close to curtain call for me, actually, looking at the time. Although, let's see what I can do beforehand. That drunk guy just been there for a considerable amount of time. My noodles are famous in Torch. All right, let's watch this 
the red panda just makes some noddles. Wow! These are cheap! Great food that is cheap and keeps you coming back for more. Enjoy all you can eat at Shuan's. Oh, yeah, an extra temporary help bar. Okay, that's pretty cool. Welcome to Jingles' shop. Aw, oh, yeah, another HP extract, baby. Thank you for your business. Thank you for your business. This is your receipt. I'm keeping the receipt. Goodbye. Have a good nice day. Think of flying mouses. Gold and silver. Hey, you want to listen to my guitar skills? No? Okay. Well, fine. Be that way. Not that I wanted to share my love for music with you, you know? Fuck you. You found it so quickly? Wow! This is a new seed I don't have! I got Carrot Just, level 2. I got money. So I got level 2 carrot juice. Does it make it any better than usual? searches were all just a cover for the Legion's search for the spark. If the Legion gets its hands on the spark, it will become even more powerful and I mean the end of Torch City. The Rat Gang will cease to exist. Cicero's next target is... Is the Western Range, where Bovi is. The Western Range is a quiet place that has been isolated from Tort City for many years. For the Legion to suddenly strike there after all these years. Follow the spark and I'll find Cicero. This time, I will stop him. If you want to stop Cicero, you must get to the spark before the Legion does. I'll go to the Western Range and warn Bovi that the Legion may attack at any moment. After the war, Bovi withdrew to the Western Range. I haven't seen him in years. <sighs> Don't worry. If the Legion tries something, the Rat Gang will do everything possible to save the Ferdisons of Torch City. If I find the spark in the Western Range, I will come back and meet up with you as soon as possible. The only way to the Western Range is via the cable car station. Outside the city, there's a secret passage from Joffrey Street. My rats will help you once you get there. Alrighty. Uh, okay, I guess this is where I'll end things off here for this one. Alright, well, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this stream. Give me a sec to just go through this stuff. Right, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's getting close to curtain call. I know it's a bit short, this stream, but yeah. I best cut off here. Uh, to at the very least get some stuff sorted out before I have to uh, play a D&D game. So, uh, we'll continue this tomorrow around the same time of 12.30 to 1.30. I'll try and go for a bit longer, but yeah. 
Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. That being tomorrow on time at 1230 to 1.30. Uh, I think we're getting closer to the game's midway point, I think. Let me see how long this game is. The game is 12 and a half hours long, so, all right, yeah. So, yeah, all right. So that'll be all for this one. I'll see you next one tomorrow on the time of 12.30 to 1.30.